In 10 to 20 years, who's going to pay top dollar for a car to use two hours out of the day to get to and from work and let it sit in a parking lot for 22 hours a day when you can buy a $30,000 robot that can clean the whole house for you and walk your pets outside when you're gone? Vacuum, do the dishes, laundry, fold the laundry, put it away, have groceries sent to your doorstep, and let the robot sort it out in the pantry. Everything is too easy for Optimus, or rather Optimus Gen 3. Numerous updates indicate that Tesla will soon release the next version of its humanoid robot, a generation that maximizes utility and focuses more on commercialization for external customers. The masses always think of Boston Dynamics as the future, but Tesla has achieved what it took Boston Dynamics over a decade to achieve in years. Just talking about the upcoming improvements, it may be hard to convince people that Tesla will develop the next generation of its humanoid robots. But don't forget how crazy the speed at which the manufacturers achieved between generations of its robots. Since the first sketchy Bumblebee prototype in October 2022, it took Tesla only five months to complete Optimus Gen 1. And by December last year, we'll see a new Gen 2 version launched with extremely good completion. So why doesn't Tesla take another step forward with such rapid robot development? especially when Optimus Gen 2 is still an imperfect product. According to Milan Kovac of Optimus Engineering, a series of improvements are being made to allow the Tesla bot to move faster and operate on more difficult terrain, while maintaining the human nature of the robot. His team is also focusing on training neural networks to handle dynamic calibration and small variations between bots, all of which suggest a Gen 3 version that's more about fine-tuning speed and accuracy. And Elon Musk's confirmations only add to the growing belief in a new version. If someone were to ask whether Optimus Gen 2 has reached its optimal level of completion, our answer would be a resounding affirmation. It is complete. In fact, we're confident that Optimus is the most beautifully designed humanoid robot currently on the market. However, if the next question is whether Tesla needs to upgrade the design in upcoming versions, especially for Gen 3, the answer would also be a definite yes. Why will Optimus get a design update in Gen 3? Before proceeding with technical improvements, Tesla engineers will undoubtedly continue to optimize the size, weight, and materials of Optimus to attain maximum efficiency. Design cannot be underestimated because these factors directly impact the performance and functionality of the robot. Do you remember that Boston Dynamics Atlas Gen 1 got discontinued? Its design and appearance were acknowledged by the manufacturers to have significantly influenced the decision to discontinue it. One downside we notice with Optimus right now is that its weight is still quite high even though it's been reduced by 22 pounds since its last update. Currently weighing in at somewhere between 138 and 140 pounds, which isn't too heavy, but it does have a somewhat negative impact on the robot's rather slow movement speed. 0.6 meters a second is currently Optimus' fastest speed, and Milan Kovac has candidly admitted that it's rather slow, or more accurately, painfully slow, especially when compared to the competition. To be fair, the Tesla bot needs to achieve at least 5 miles an hour before it hits the market, which is a fact because speed of movement will be a key factor in assessing its agility and feasibility for the tasks it can perform. No one would want to buy an old president robot, right? Just kidding. So. How can Optimus Next Gen go faster? In an effort to improve the speed of movement for the upcoming Gen 3 version, the weight can be completely reduced through changing materials and using more 3D printing methods like Boston Dynamics has applied. When looking at the entire body of the Tesla humanoid robot, the materials used by the manufacturer for Optimus Gen 2 include lightweight metals such as cast aluminum for skeletal structure and limbs and polycarbonate plastic for the body cover. However, by using more carbon fibers, the weight can still significantly be reduced without changing much in terms of material for the new Optimus. Carbon fibers can be formed into highly complex shapes, and newer technologies can 3D print structures that are reinforced with carbon, removing as much excess weight from the robot as possible while strengthening it. We haven't seen any scenes showing Optimus falling, so we can't know for sure if it's durable with the polycarbonate layers or not. However, if the next generation does indeed have carbon fiber materials, we believe Optimus will be extremely durable because they are five times stronger than steel, providing excellent load bearing and impact resistance based on their high tensile strength and elasticity properties. 
Furthermore, the carbon fiber's ability to withstand high temperatures without deforming or losing its mechanical properties is a criterion that helps Tesla robots be more versatile in various environmental conditions. At the very least, it'll be less prone to distortion when working around metal melting furnaces. With Gen 3, maintaining a weight of around 100 pounds is reasonable because it will balance both aesthetic factors and speed of movement without compromising Optimus's balancing capability. Why will the new hand be a highlight for the next-gen Optimus? The more degrees of freedom a robot has in its body, the more it resembles a human. If you're not familiar with the concept, degrees of freedom refer to the number of independent movements a robot can perform. For humanoid robots, degrees of freedom typically include movements at various joints on the robot's body, similar to those on a human. Currently, TeslaBot has 11 degrees of freedom in its hands, but it's capable of performing many tasks demonstrated by the manufacturer, such as folding clothes, sorting eggs, and arranging 4680 batteries. The story seemed to conclude with these 11 degrees of freedom this year, but it's truly mind-boggling to hear that Elon has announced they'll be making a hand with 22 degrees of freedom for the new Optimus by the end of this year, the most significant upgrade to make anyone think that Optimus Gen 3 will be soon emerging. You may not have noticed, but Optimus's hand is entirely different from anything else out there on the market, with most having only three to two fingers, kind of like a crab's claw. Optimus's five fingers are designed to provide the maximum number of degrees of freedom possible possible, allowing it to perform more tasks than the competition. Human hands have 27 degrees of freedom, enabling us to perform countless different tasks. If Optimus Next Gen truly achieves the 22 degrees of freedom as Elon asserts, its hands will be nearly comparable to human hands in terms of manipulation capabilities. This means that if a human can perform 100 tasks, Optimus will be able to accomplish around 70 tasks, an impressive figure indeed. This is so good that NVIDIA senior researcher and manager and lead of Embodied AI, Jim Fan, noted that Optimus's hands are among the best in the industry. To express the great hands of Optimus, he wrote on X, Optimus' hands are among the best five-finger dexterous robot hands in the world. It's got tactile sensing, 11 degrees of freedom compared to many competitors with only 6 to 7 degrees of freedom, and robustness to withstand lots of object interactions without constant maintenance. Absolutely, we understand the Tesla bot because it's receiving numerous updates to get closer to the humanoid robot title. The recent announcement of a new patent application for the Optimus hand describes cable-controlled fingers using axes and springs for stability. Some aspects may go into the next generation of 22 degree of freedom of hands. Yes, of course, we're not experts in robot patents, so it's hard to grasp the entire technical construction Tesla's doing with Optimus. But still easy to see that Optimus's hands are going to be extremely impressive in those upcoming updates. The upgrade of Optimus's hand to 22 degrees of freedom has us believing that this is a big goal for Tesla. The manufacturer wants Optimus to not only function as a factory worker, but also be a real homemaker. This is an important transition from industrial applications to a more versatile role suitable for domestic tasks, which is sure to get the attention of outside customers. Not only the hands, but the recent patent application also revealed that Optimus Gen 3 will have intricately designed knees. Specifically, Optimus's knee mimics human joint movements with a 150-degree range of rotation. In this upgrade effort, Tesla has endeavored to use a single energy-efficient linear actuator to drive the knee and motion sensor control processing circuit based on real-time data. If this comes to fruition soon, Optimus Gen 3 could mimic human motion more realistically than ever, with the impressive ability to climb stairs quite promising indeed. Why Tesla bots might have a bigger battery pack. Optimus uses electricity and a battery, and how much power does it have? This is the most important thing to convince customers to pay attention to it. Since the first time in 2022, the 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack was introduced for the prototype. With this capacity, Optimus can operate for at least eight hours continuously until it needs to be recharged. More specifically, we know that Optimus's power consumption will be 100 watts when sitting, 500 watts when walking, meaning that for tasks that require it to move continuously, like carrying goods, inspecting factories, or cleaning, it'll make you need to recharge these things faster than if you just ask it to stand still and fold hundreds of shirts. So, does the Tesla Optimus Gen 3 need a bigger battery pack? According to us, no. Increasing the battery pack size would mean that Optimus's weight will significantly increase, and it will alter the design layout for the already perfect body of Optimus. Not to mention it'll make production much more difficult, along with the possibility of increased cost per Optimus. There are many issues with having a larger battery pack, so with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack, Optimus can still operate efficiently, even taking just 15 minutes to fully charge.
However, Tesla can still do the opposite. They can still upgrade the battery pack to reach 2.7 to 3 kilowatt hours for the Gen 3 model to make it truly more powerful, have longer operation time, and convince customers more easily. When considering the technical specifications of Optimus, Tesla doesn't really talk much about battery life. We gotta figure that part out for ourselves. Understandable, because at least Optimus has been copied and Tesla is very wary of this. Unlike other robot manufacturers, Tesla has a significant advantage because they know a lot about battery technology and battery management systems derived from EVs. Furthermore, they also have expertise in drivetrains because they've directly manufactured them for both EVs and Optimus. Elon Musk has stated that the drivetrain in Optimus is more advanced than any other drivetrain in the world. Tesla knows how to build drivetrains. They got a design department that can do that and many specialties they can leverage. So when you look at Tesla, it's not just about the battery pack and BMS, but also about the drivetrains or motors that go into it and ensure that they're efficient and balanced with the battery pack. That huge knowledge base allowed them to build a really energy efficient end-to-end -end system of humanoid robots. That gave them a huge advantage and then figuring out exactly how much energy they were going to need to run these things. They already knew how to simulate things like that, so they had a good grasp. Why will Optimus Gen 3 be specialized in the role of homemaker? Buying an Optimus won't be easy until Tesla actually sells its final generation robots. The appearance of Optimus Gen 3 makes us think that these versions will be more commercially oriented by the manufacturer than the previous Gen 2 generation, which was mainly used in the Gigafactory. This makes sense because, as we all know, the Optimus Gen 2 was mainly shown by Tesla performing tasks inside the factory, such as arranging batteries, components, etc. The truth that everyone can see is that Tesla needs a better generation if they really want their robots to attract a large number of buyers. A generation of robots with more utilities and proficient in the role of homemaker. So, what potential does Gen 3 bot have to be useful? As for home use, yes, the Tesla bot will be able to operate in a factory, and there's no reason why it can't do the same tasks in a smaller home. The big changes in the upcoming versions are to make it lighter and more suitable for multiple uses. Not just in the factory, but in the real world. They initially focused on the factory, then realized that their design could potentially go beyond just factory use. This is why they keep talking about selling it to customers at the end of next year. Tesla is an innovative manufacturer with a future-oriented vision led by Elon Musk. They prioritize designs that appeal to customers' tastes while ensuring mass producibility at affordable prices and high quality. This is evident in the design of Tesla EVs and the impressive production numbers at their factories. Looking at Optimus, Tesla has applied a similar approach, making it truly eye-catching and resembling the most humanoid robot on the market. It's more of a futuristic design that remains timeless even after decades. Therefore, the first principle, which is also the most important, is to make Optimus as human-like as possible, even after undergoing numerous modifications maintaining Tesla's goal for it. The factory version can be seen in Optimus Gen 2 currently, but the version for households may require a newer, more suitable design to handle family situations. Optimus still isn't entirely human-like in some aspects, understandable since Tesla is still in its early stages, and there are many new improvements and upgrades needed to reach 85% similarity to humans. Optimus is the most feasible robot for a widespread adoption in the future, where we could encounter these robots anywhere, from convenience stores, shopping centers, factories, to nursing homes. To achieve success with its Optimus generations, Milan Kovac, representing Tesla's Optimus engineering team, has shared many insights. He believes there are several reasons for Optimus's potential success, relying on a great team of passionate and hardworking individuals working together. They operate within a lean, flexible, flat startup company culture, free from bureaucracy, and supported by a robust infrastructure of AI training and assessment. Additionally, there's Tesla's expertise in automotive technology, from drivetrains, batteries, AI chips, to autopilot software. Especially noteworthy is the backing and vision of a CEO like Elon Musk, who is not afraid to tackle tough challenges for the betterment of humanity. He also acknowledges that Tesla is one of the very few places on Earth with all the crucial elements to make Optimus a true reality and potentially shape a prosperous future for all of us. We see this to be entirely true through what the team has accomplished thus far, with progress measured in months and days rather than years. Tesla's long-term vision for Optimus extends far beyond basic manual tasks. The company envisions these robots ultimately performing a multitude of functions, from delivery services to elderly care. Humanoid robots have been employed as employees in various industries and fields. 
The use of robots in automation has steadily decreased in recent years, especially in manufacturing, logistics, and customer service. However, the extent of using robots as employees will depend on several factors, including technological advancements, cost effectiveness, and societal acceptance. In some industries, robots have replaced humans in certain tasks, leading to increased efficiency and productivity. However, there are also concerns about the impact of automation on jobs and job displacement, as many have suggested after Tesla laid off 10% of its workforce. This is good for Tesla, as Optimus is a good money-making machine, but it'll have a negative impact on unemployment in the United States. Now, it is important to find a balance between the benefits of automation and the need to ensure that humans are not left behind. The future of Optimus robots as employees is very possible, as Optimus has just been shown to be very mobile in an office setting. This collaborative approach could open up new opportunities and roles for both humans and robots in the marketplace. Certainly, whether Optimus robots can perceive light or not will depend on the tasks they can perform, their cost, the pace of technological advancements, economic factors, and societal acceptance. Optimus has faced skepticism from some analysts and experts. Critics have viewed this project as a marketing gimmick or a distraction from Tesla's core business operations. They argue that the technology is not yet mature enough for true widespread application and question the feasibility of manufacturing a completely flexible humanoid robot. That being said, its most important role maybe is the lightning rod attracting new interest in robotics globally. Tesla's Optimus robot will change the world, but not the way you think. So, what do you think about the future updates for Optimus? We hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our updates in the future by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.